Rao over Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award to renowned Carnatic musician T.M. Krishna. T.M. Krishna has been chosen as the Sangeeta Kalanidhi Awardee for 2024. Now, this award considered the Oscar equivalent for Carnatic music, but now it has triggered a massive controversy. Many renowned Carnatic artists, including Ranjini and Gayatri, Trichur brothers among many, have announced their withdrawal from participating in the Music Academy's conference as it will be presided over by T.M. Krishna. They say Krishna often vilifies Carnatic music fraternity and keeps denigrating spirituality in music. T.M. Krishna, however, is uh, someone who is not uh, unfamiliar with controversy. He is uh, the only Carnatic musician to have held a classical music concert inside a mosque. He also keeps criticizing Brahmin dominance in Carnatic music industry. Krishna has also slammed Bharat Ratna MS Subalakshmi, claiming that she embraced Brahminism only for acceptance in society. Singer Chinmay came out in support of Krishna, highlighting how molesters are given platform in the Carnatic music industry. My colleague Pramod Madhav is now joining us live from Chennai. Pramod, this has snowballed into an absolutely unnecessary controversy. It almost seems that the music industry, the Carnatic classical music industry, seems to be divided in the middle. It absolutely is. And it was Ranjini and Gayatri who brought out this in a particular issue, claiming that they are not willing to perform in the Magri So It's a kind of like a very important festival conducted during the period of uh, December. And, and uh, uh, they have given this, uh, like, you know, very clearly they have mentioned that the reason behind this is uh, Sangi, I mean, Sangeeta Kalani, the award being conferred on T.M. Krishna. And they also mm -hmm. stated that T.M. Krishna has been uh, giving views in support of Periyar and against certain guru people who, who Rangjini and Gayatri consider her, uh, the, themselves as gurus. And this is the reason they've mainly stated that. For following which, what has occurred is that uh, uh, like uh, various other artists have also gone forward and they have also said that they are either returning the Sangeeta Kalani, the award that has been conferred upon them, or they will also not perform uh, during the events that has been earlier planned. However, just like you mentioned, Chinmayi, on the other hand, she has come forward and she has extended her support to TM Krishna, claiming that the uh, particular Carnatic music world that also involves the Music Academy is severely like uh, uh, deteriorated and there are a lot of issues that has been taken care of. And TM Krishna has been one person who has been expressing his views, particularly regarding these issues and what Chinmayi is also fighting against. And that's the reason she has congratulated TM Krishna on getting the award. Okay, so it seems like uh, there is a divide as far as uh, the Carnatic music industry is uh, concerned. Now, after T.M. Krishna was awarded a prestigious Carnatic music award, which has offended certain others. Let's give you a sense of the many controversies, in fact, T.M. Krishna has been embroiled in. Number one is the controversy where he held a classical music concert inside a mosque. That turned into a huge row. It stirred a huge row as well, a debate that raged on for some time. Number two, of the notion that artists in the Carnatic fraternity are casteers. This is something that he's openly expressed time and again, and he stands by those views, which has again stirred a hornet's nest. Number three, often criticizes Brahmin dominance in Carnatic music. So again, taking off the fact that the industry is casteous by nature, he has criticized the Brahmin dominance, allegedly, in the music industry, the classical music industry in the South. Number four, has alleged that Bharat Ratna Subalakshmi embraced Brahminism for acceptance. So a huge charge is leveled against someone who's a senior, a veteran from the Carnatic music industry, revered, very popular. He said that she embraced Brahminism to accept, in fact, uh, to be accepted within the Carnatic music society. Also, number five, keeps highlighting that Carnatic fraternity is not inclusive. So again, taking off from the larger debate where he says it's all caste, it's about Brahmin dominance. He says that it is not an inclusive industry. Number six, he has criticized temples for stopping non-Hindu artists from performing. So while he himself has performed inside a mosque, he has criticized temples for stopping non-Hindu artists from performing inside these temples. So he has been very vocal, someone who has held a very different point of view and he keeps vocalizing those point of views many times, landing himself in controversies.